voice actors been standing up here talking about how we come up with voices, but you write all these brilliant tunes, yeah. and and we we marvel at you and wonder, like, I, mean, I guess the muse just sits on your shoulder, whispering new tunes into your ears all Wouldn't day long. Yes. Wouldn't how do you come up with Wouldn't these Wouldn't it things? be nice? Oh, yes. we can come up with ideas for songs. You know that Quake song? That was my little boy's idea, because my, my house got trashed in that earthquake. Right. And uh, so he said, hey, Dan, why don't you write a funny song about an earthquake? And I said... Gosh, you know, people had their homes destroyed, they got injured, you know, what's funny about that? Yeah, but, but I, Mr. Paulson's got a two-by-four sticking out of his head and it's hysterical. <laughs> it's funny. So I'm driving home, I'm on the free, I'm on the 405 driving home and I'm saying, a quake, a quake, a quake, a quake, the house begun to shake. And the, the song just came pouring out of my head. Uh, that never happens. Yeah. I pull over to the side of the freeway, I mean, in the shoulder of the 405, I grabbed a piece of paper, and I'm, and that song just came out in one fell swoop. Never happened to me before, just one fell swoop. Wow. If a policeman had come up, Woo! Sorry, sir, there's no writing songs on the side of the freeway. Uh, I would say, just give me a ticket, and, and uh, you know, let me finish. And I finished that song in one fell swoop, and there it went. Boom, it won an Emmy. doesn't happen that way most yeah. of the time, right? No, no, you bleed. No, it won an Emmy. Yeah, so, I, no, you bleed over, but I do remember one, like, that, where, where Tom, our, our Tom, our producer, came by my office, you know. He goes, hey, Randy, got great news. We just got another season of Animaniacs. So we're going to need another Christmas episode. So write a Christmas carol and make it funny. Boom. <laughs> I was like, so you got any ideas? That's a great <laughs> idea. You cast a check. You write the song. It's pretty simple. So I'm sitting there in my office over the war bros, I'm busting my brain, thinking like, what would make a funny Christmas carol? So I thought, what if we tried this? What if we... We open up on the Warner Brothers lot in Burbank, California, panning it over it, and it's completely covered in snow. Oh, good. So right away, at Christmas, we are lying to the children. <laughs> we land on the water tower, because the kids live in the water tower, and then we pan up the water tower, right. and it's all covered in holly and mistletoe, Aww. and they're, you know, Christmas ornaments, and then we see two big neon arrow signs pointing, going, drop presents here. Now, oh. Free reindeer food, sorry, Southern California. Gluten-free, free reindeer food. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And at the very top is a little Christmas tree, all askew, obviously, you know, decorated by little kids. And then we crossfade inside the water tower, and there's Yakko and Dot putting up all these Christmas decorations. But little Wacko, he's sitting at a table, and he's writing. Hey, hey, Wacko, what are you doing? Says, I'm writing a letter to Santa Claus to tell him what I want for Christmas. Ooh. And we do an over-the-shoulder shot, and it says, you know, in this list it says I want a pony, nice. and I want a train, Excellent. I want an aircraft carrier, wow. a space shuttle, like I think. But where it's, it says, Dear Santa, Santa is spelled S-A-N-T-L-A, like Santa Love. Hey, 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 that's not how you spell Santa. It isn't? No. Well, how do you spell his name then? And Yaka pulls out a big butcher block of paper and begins to write. <laughs> 